So we have a story out of have the Chinese that had a barbershop uh, operating in the arcade mall. They were only cutting the hair of Chinese. They were not allowing black people to go in. They see black folks say, no, 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 you can't come in here, only Chinese. And a resident tipped off the authorities about what was going on and they showed up at the shop. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. Why we should continue allowing you to operate in the city when you are showing appetite, stopping blacks from doing business in here? Okay. Yeah, yes, I know, I understand. English. Yeah. Whoever yeah. understands English have taken our council license and we are going to write to you, we are revoking them. No business here, you are closed now. Close now, yes. Yeah, now because it's close. Close yes, close now. Not even Chinaman here. Yeah. The one you were cutting was where? No, this one is No, 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 no cutting here, brother. Go and cut here at home. You're closed now. Okay. Yeah, this is no problem. Yes, already closed. Yeah, already closed. But so, so if it's closed, what are you doing inside? For the, me and this family, and for this family, here yeah. cooking. Me home and not for this cooking. Close. I'm coming back in one hour if I find you. I'll get you arrested for operating illegally because our license we have taken. Because you are discriminating blacks and closing and only attending to Chinese and just stopping blacks. You lie that you've closed, but you are doing business here with Chinese. There's no segregation. This license doesn't permit you. And also putting the prices in Chinese. It's illegal. Put in English. If you want, put in Nyanja. This is not who want. Well, good for that brother for yanking their license and telling them that this is not going to be any type of apartheid. He also told me, if you're going to act that way, carry yourself back to Wuhan. Now, I love that he said, carry yourself back to Wuhan. That's where they all of them need to go. My thing is this. They leave China to go start businesses of an African nation they want to go to. They go there with not much, but they have maybe a little money with them and they set up business. And one thing that a lot of brothers and sisters don't really understand here in America, when you have conversations that say, well, why are they trying to come over here? So, you know, and why are you telling us to go over there? Well, the difference is versus you and them is that when you have just a couple of thousand, not even that much American dollars, your money is literally doubled in certain areas. In some countries, it literally almost triple. You go there, you start a business, you can hire help, and you can even look at what the salary is, for instance, in a city. You can even pay them more than what they normally would get paid. And they would be happy with that, but it'd be a lot less than hiring people here in this country. I was being honest with you. So that's what the Chinese do. They go to African nations, they set up a business, they hire workers or the other thing, they bring their own people and they feel that, okay, we're going to set up a business here and for the Chinese, because what they're doing is trying to do a soft colonization. Well, they're not trying to do it like, you know, the European done it, but they're trying to do it just in a different way. Well, let me set up a business here. Okay. Now we, we trying to see if we can exclude you out of these businesses. And if we allow that, if, if the city governments allow that, then we'll start expanding that and tell you now you can't go in the neighborhood. Then they'll tell you, if you allow that, now you can't go in a town, you know, over here. The thing is, everybody wants to come to the African continent and make something of themselves. They leave China. They, they supposed to be so proud Chinese, the, for the Chinese communist party. You have to understand all those people that's in the continent of Africa, they cannot leave unless they have allegiance to the Chinese communist party. And that alone is bothersome. And that alone is why I will always cover stories what the Chinese are doing on the African continent. Now, what they do other places, you know, unless it's in relation to us here in America or on a continent, then I'm not saying much, but I'm definitely going to say something in relation to this because you're not going to go there and set up businesses. And then you're going to treat the people any kind of way. Or say you can't come in here. Then a the brother said, you can't put that in Mandarin. You can't do that. It has to be in English. See the Chinese want to go in and do whatever the hell they want to do. And I'm glad that the videos are coming out. You brothers and sisters that's in Kenya, Nairobi, shout out to you guys. Uh, like I said, I was there last year in Nairobi. Keep filming the Chinese. Keep reporting. Keep putting out there. Listen, a person sent me this video. I didn't know nothing about it. One, one of our brothers uh, from Kenya, shout out to you uh, for sending the video in to us because uh, I didn't know nothing about this. 
but keep spreading the word. If we keep the pressure on the Chinese Communist Party and their actions in the African continent, let them know it's going to be some pushback. It's not going to just be business as usual. Now I know you have sellouts in every country and those sellouts, you need to film them too and find out who they are when they're participating in allowing the Chinese to do wrong things in African nations. But the Chinese have a lot of nerve for the things that they're doing. Now understand Kenyans couldn't go to uh, any city in China, open up a shop and say, Oh no, 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 no. You can't come in here. Chinese. I'm only cutting uh, Africans hair over here. They wouldn't put up with that. Not even two seconds. They wouldn't put up with it. So why would anyone allow that to happen? So you guys keep reporting, keep the pressure on, keep letting us know, let everyone who's reporting, um, share those videos with everybody, not just me, but share it with everybody, you know, in, in emails who's making content, share it. Cause the more of us talk about it, the more of us, you know, a, a, attack this entity that's trying to soft colonize within the African continent. And listen, your leaders have made deals with the Chinese. That's why they feel they can just come in there. But understand this, you tell them the leaders are one thing. The people is another, and it's more of us in Kenya or wherever we at than those leaders. So you better fly right by the people or we're going to throw you out. You understand? And that's the right way and the right attitude to have when it comes to anyone coming into your nation, especially those who aren't part of the African diaspora or continental Africans. You understand? Treat people the way they would treat you. That's all the thing I'm saying. These people think they can just come set up shop and in China they had nothing going on. Nothing. You have to understand a lot of places in China, they're dirt poor. They don't have money like that. All they want to show you is Beijing and Shanghai, but a lot of places in China is poor. They don't have money like that. So they leave China to come try to make their lot in the continent of Africa because they see what I see. And that's why I keep reporting to you and telling you, Hey, brother, sister, you know, save a little money, go open up a business in the African continent. It'll grow. You ain't got to deal with the sabotage that you have here in America. You ain't got to deal with the racism. I mean, they, they willing to, you know, do business with you. Like they, they told me the first country I went to, we want b black Americans and Caribbeans and anybody in the diaspora to come here and open up businesses and, and invest. We rather do business with y'all, not the Chinese, not the Europeans, not whatever. And say, so if y'all never show up, we kind of stuck between the rock and the hard place. And when I got that message from brothers that was in business, I said, listen, that's all I need to see. The opportunity is just wide open to do so. And we all should do it. Whatever you're doing here, go do it there. Like you brothers that know how to lay concrete, you know, you brothers know that know how to um, lay streets. That's infrastructure jobs that you guys can go get like this. You got the money to go get the equipment. You can go get those contracts from the government. Now you can go lay roads and everything. Trust me. That's an open lane right there on the continent. If you know how to make streets and do it the right way with a team, that's an open lane for you brothers to go literally become millionaires on the African continent, just laying down, you know, roads, even simple roads. You would think, oh, well, you know, no, they need all that in some places. They need it. You know, some of you brothers are, are electricians. Some of you are plumbers. Some of you got all those trades and skills. If you go over there, you can literally help turn that around to the same thing you have here. But the skills, I know black men and women have those skills. You, some of you truck drivers, you know, I talked to some of you brothers and you know, like, man, I thought about going over there with, with driving trucks that it's, it's wide open. I mean, whatever you do here, you know, some of you in the medical profession. So whatever you do, you can go do it there and you would do it with, with less stress for sure. You can get help and it won't cost you an arm and a leg like it costs here in America. And you would actually feel good in what you're doing. You're helping contribute to the economy. People are going to be happy with you because, Hey, you're bringing jobs. So of course people are going to be happy with you. The government going to be happy with you. Why do you think they deal with the Chinese in a lot of ways? Because the Chinese is helping their unemployment rate. So we should go there and do that. So you brothers that have companies, you brothers that build homes, you got brothers that got companies, go to the African continent and, and get you some of that land and start building subdivisions. I mean, you can do that. You really can. And you will you can build with not spending the amount of money you spend here in America. Farmers that's here in America, they have sabotaged black farmers. We had 1 million farmers at the turn of the uh, century not this century, but the previous century, 
Now we less than a hundred thousand farmers. They cut out all our black farmers, took all the black farmers land. They got so much land in Namibia and other places that they just looking for, for farmers to come through and brothers and sisters right here who could farm could go there and farm in peace. I'm just saying this giving you the option, of course, right? But it is the opportunity is so wide open. I just don't like seeing the one thing and shout out to sister, um, uh, Gina, African superstar channel. I said this too, and she just repeated, you know, uh, reiterating her own way, not repeating me, but she said that, you know, we can't just complain all the time about the Chinese because they're showing up. It's true. The Chinese are showing up and when they show up, they're doing the dirt you see in this video. So what I'm saying is we need to get to the continent and yes, we're going to keep reporting on the Chinese and they're not going to get away with this. And the brothers on the continent got to stand up and they are standing up and trust me once again, the videos that's being filmed, the, the videos is being reported on, trust me, it's having an effect on the African continent. Virtue Grace said that it's having an effect with the younger people. They say they're not going to put up with nobody's crap. It's not the old days. You know, it's not going to be the sellout Negroes no more. It's going to be people that want to love their country. They want to be patriots of their country and love the people. And if you can't come through and work good with everybody, you need to go back to Wuhan or wherever you come from. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. Um, shout out to the brother once again for shutting the Chinese down, letting them know it's not going to be tolerated. The African nation, keep using your cell phone as an agent of justice and keep showing the videos because trust me, you're making a difference. Thank you.